Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Aisha Farzan, I'm a consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist at Nagpur, Destination Skin, which is a part of West Avenue Medical Center in Nagpur. So next in series in our sunscreen, I'm going to review one of my favorite sunscreen and that's Rivella Light. Alright, the sunscreen. So let me just tell you the good qualities about it. And number one is, first of all, it's a mousse formulation and it is a very extremely light formulation. Um, number three is that it's, uh, it's got a little tint on it so when you apply it you have that freshness feeling and if there are certain blemishes on your face then it tends to hide that also mask it um, then coming to the SPF so it's a 50 SPF sunscreen that means it's got a good coverage for you against your UVB radiations plus it's having a PA boost of 4 rating so yeah so, so uh, any of you who are having a uh, sun allergy who tend to break out uh, when they are exposed to the sun can definitely go for this for because it's got a good PA booster rating. Um, it's a broad spectrum sunscreen because it covers both the UVA and the UVB radiation or mention of any sort of uh, blue light filter etc or infrared radiation is mentioned over here. Um, so because um, also uh, looking at the content so it's both a physical as well as a chemical sunscreen so uh, owing to that you may just uh, apply the sunscreen and leave your home immediately uh, before a sun exposure but if you want to get the best benefit out of the sunscreen so apply it at least 15 to 20 minutes before sun exposure you may apply it in the face and any exposed areas of the body but because it's not a very uh, spreadable product it's not really economical if you apply it on exposed areas of the body so let's just see how uh, this sunscreen looks So you can see it's like a very, uh, you know, light weighted mousse formulation with a slight tint to it. Um, let me just apply it on one area of my face. Uh, what I love about it is the tint. It really gives that subtle, it's not like the BB creams and the foundation that you have, but it just gives a subtle improvement to the overall texture and I even love applying it and using it in the night time if I have to go somewhere. I, I'm not really in the mood to apply any makeup so I just apply this and I'm ready to go. So now you can notice it didn't take much time for me to blend the product and it's already I'm already done and uh, definitely you can see uh, there is a shade difference in both the sides. Um, and it's really, it's really a very lightweight product. I cannot even feel the product in my face. Um, yeah, it's a little uh, sticky right now because it's wet. But because I'm a regular user of this Rivella Light, so I know after a few seconds this really merges and melts into your skin, and you will not even realize that you've worn a sunscreen. Um, this will suit any type of skin, uh, sensitive skin. If you've got rosacea, it will go really well because it masks the redness really well. If you've got post acne or uh, redness, it will go really well. If you're prone to acne, you can go for this formulation. Or uh, just like that, if you uh, are an office going person, or if you want to use a sunscreen, which if you want to use a product, you want to go out and are not really in the mood to use any foundation or makeup, uh, definitely this is your go-to product, skincare product. It's not having any moisturizer uh, in it. It's not a creamy formulation. So if at all your skin is dry, make sure you layer your moisturizer first, followed by your sunscreen. If at all you want to give more coverage, you are definitely uh, allowed to put uh, any cosmetics on top of this. I hope this review was uh, helpful. If you have any queries regarding the product or any similar queries to your sunscreen, you can just um, DM us um, below. Uh, I'll just uh, demonstrate how it is uh, on my hands. So, yeah. So, this is how the product is. It's really nice and it's really airy. Okay. And uh, so, you cannot make out, but definitely there is visible difference in the two uh, hands of mine. This is looking a little fairer than this. But all in all, it's a great production.